Welcome everyone to another virtual Excel camp early elementary. This is our outdoor adventure week. Today our theme is bugs, bugs, bugs. We are so glad to have you here with us today. Again, this is the Virtual Excel Camp Early Elementary. We are so happy to have you joining us today. We know you are coming in to the room and we hope that our students will be raising their hands and participating or typing in the chat to tell us how they have been. And I wonder, I wonder if they were with us the last couple days, people were building forts and going on nature walks. Curious what we have to hear from you today. Our instructors today again are Leslie McNeil, teacher of students with visual impairments. Hi, Leslie. Hi everyone, so happy you guys are here today. And Jessica Kaminsky. Hey everybody. And our student intern, Anahit Labar. Hi everyone, and uh, great to have you here and looking forward to another fun day. Again, we're so glad to have you join us today. Welcome Puerto Rico. You are welcome to type in the chat where you are from. And we would love to know people from all over where you are from. And I do wonder what type of things you did yesterday. And I wonder if you did anything this morning. Some of you are in my time zone and you had a whole morning to do some things. I'll be curious. Hi, New Jersey. Glad to have you with us, Addison. And Jezebel says, hi, buenas tardes from Puerto Rico. Welcome Maddox from Atlanta. Ooh, and they built a fort just before camp started. Kellen says, hi from Pennsylvania and Ingrid from Virginia. Great to have you with us today. Hi, Giselle from Pakistan. I know it's late where you are. Hello, Phineas, Calgary, Canada. Oh, another person from outside of the US. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Cynthia and Christina. Glad to see you. They made ants on a log this morning. Mm, but we're going to talk about those. And Nahi from California, or Sophia from California. And Julia, welcome. Glad to have you with us today. Okay, I'm going to turn it over to Jessica, Leslie, and Anna Heat. Have fun. Good afternoon, everybody. First, we're going to talk about our schedule today. So we just had our introduction. Uh, then Leslie's going to tell us about some bugs. Next, we'll have a little break where we can interact. And then we'll be reading a story, Bugs, Bugs, Bugs. And then Anna Heat will be telling us about our extension activity, which will be ants on a log. And Leslie will be doing our second extension activity, which is fishing two ways. And that will be what we'll be doing on Friday. And then next, we hope you will all join us for our campfire sing-along song. And then if we have any time left, we'll take some questions. So let's go to Leslie for Bugs, Bugs, Bugs. Hi, everyone. Bug, bug, bugs. Oh, no. Who likes bugs? Can you put a Y in our chat if you like bugs or an N if you don't like bugs? Mm -hmm. Bugs are insects. Insects have six legs. Oh, Nathaniel, you don't like bugs, but Maddox does. Instead of bones, they have a hard shell called an exoskeleton. Well, I'm getting into some more no's. Uh, Natalie says yes. Ingrid says no. Ranger says no. And Addison says, oh, no. <laughs> Kinsey says she loves butterflies and dragonflies. Oh, me too. Well, back to our bugs for a quick second. Instead of bones, they have a hard shell called an exoskeleton that protects them. 
So if you step on a bug or squish a bug, that's why you hear the, the um, smashing sound or the breaking sound. You're, you're breaking their exoskeleton. Ugh, I don't like to step on bugs. Mm -hmm. Cynthia and Christina, they do not like bugs, but Julia does. All right. Bugs help the earth by pollinating flowers, providing food for other animals, and by recycling dead things or dead materials. So now we're back to chats, guys. I need your help. Oh, and Gisele says she likes bugs or he likes bugs. So here we go. Can anyone name a few other insects? I know Kinsey said butterflies and dragonflies. Does anyone else know of any other insects or bugs they would like to share with us? Oh, Maddox says ants. Nathaniel says mosquitoes. Oh, I don't like those mosquitoes. How about you, Miss Jessica? Do you like those mosquitoes out, outside where you are? No, ma'am. Uh, I'm sitting right now, for those of you who can see behind me, there's lots of trees around me because I'm outside. And there are mosquitoes and ants and there's spiders. Addison wants to tell you what bugs she likes. Addison, did you still want to say something? You have to raise, I think it was Addison. There was a hand raise and it is now lowered, so I guess not. Oh, there it, is. it was, oh, God. yeah, I found it. It was Cynthia. Ah. What type of bugs? Insects. I know, what type of insects? Can you, um, fireflies. Can Fireflies are great. Have you Some ever caught people, one? Yep. No. <laughs> if you catch them in a jar, they'll light up in the jar. And you could have a little nightlight jar. Catch them in the jar. Who? <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much. You have more. You have people who have bumblebees. Ranger likes named bumblebees and Natalie Roly Polies and gnats from Addison, Ladybug from Giselle, Nathaniel Mosquitoes, Ira Ladybugs. I see Roly Polies. Those are one of my favorite bugs to play with because they roll up. You can roll them around. Good job, guys. So we've seen ladybugs, term, uh, termites we did not see on here, fireflies, beetles, flies, dragonflies, honeybees, mosquitoes, grasshoppers, and crickets, and ants, and butterflies. Good job with your naming of bugs, guys. Oh, Cynthia, yucky. Those what are the Cynthia worst. What did Cynthia say? She said brooches. Oh. oh, I cannot stand roaches. I'm so scared of them. In Florida, we call them palmetto bugs. Uh, that right. sounds much nicer than they are. <laughs> yeah, until they start flying around. Your screen's going a bit crazy there, Jessica. <laughs> All right, Jessica. Muted. I'm done with bugs, bugs, bugs. And so we can move forward. I think so I would like to know, did anybody go on a nature walk yesterday and maybe make a musical instrument or did they make some granola mix or trail mix? So Ingrid has her hand raised. Did you Ingrid? Hold your, yeah, you can talk. We should be able to hear you. No, I didn't, but caterpillar, caterpillars are bu bugs. You, you are, are so very right. Maddox Let's made a fruit salad. Oh, you got it? You read. I do not have the chat oh, showing, but I I, you made fruit salad. That sounds delicious. Mm-hmm. Nathaniel. I wonder what kind of fruit. 
Nathaniel went this morning and collected wildflowers to press in a book. And Kellen went on a bike ride. And Kenzie, we made a shaker with an old coffee container. I bet that sounded really good because the coffee containers are usually tin. And so I bet the sound was really loud, maybe louder than my Gatorade bottle. Giselle's country is in lockdown, so she's not able to yet. Oh, I'm sorry, Giselle, but maybe when things open back up, you can go and have yourself a nature walk. Oh, yeah. And there are lots of things you can do at home, too. Like, I wonder if you built a fort. Or made trail mix for a snack. Oh, absolutely. Natalie, did you have something to add? Okay. Okay. Um, me and my mom made fruit salad. And what did you put in it? Strawberries, grapes. Ah! And also put uh, apples. And yeah, grapes, apples, and peaches. Uh, grapes, apples, and strawberries. Uh, uh, that did, sounds did, delicious. Do you know bugs really like fruit? Because it smells really sweet to them. And so if you go on a picnic, because today is International Picnic Day, and you bring your fruit salad, I'm sure you'll attract a lot of bugs. Yeah, so you better eat it quick and enjoy it. <laughs> Isaac said he played games at home. Well, are we ready to hear about ants on a log? I think so. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I think we have, we're one step ahead. We have a book, don't we? Yes, we have a book about oh. bugs, bugs, Sorry. bugs. Sorry, Kennedy. Oh, it's all good. My fault. Sorry. Jessica, we cannot hear you. I know you're probably reading really well or is talking about the picture, but we don't know what you're saying. So we are reading Bugs, Bugs, Bugs by Bob Barner. And Leslie's going to read the words, and I'm going to describe the pictures for you. And they're working hard on getting it set up. Addison made fudge. That sounds yummy, Addison. I love fudge, but I know I shouldn't eat too much. So here we are at the cover of the book, Bugs, Bugs, Bugs by Bob Barner. On the front of the book, we see pictures of some very colorful bugs. There's a bee. There's a very large grasshopper. Ooh, that was an insect we left off. There is a little teeny ant and a small ladybug, a butterfly flying in the air, and a very small beetle. For my aunt, BB. So this is called a dedication page and it usually follows the cover page. And for this, he dedicates this book. It means he wrote it with his aunts in mind. Bugs, Bugs, Bugs by Bob Barner. So on that page, we just saw a leaf and crawling out of the leaf was three bugs. I'm not sure what the first bug was, but I'm pretty sure the middle bug is an ant and the last one might be a spider. Bugs, 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 I want to see bugs. So we see some lots of plants. And that's usually like where uh, bugs like to hide and we see a cricket peeping out from behind a leaf. And then we see some grass with a um, little ant. We see another leaf with a ladybug on it and a cricket or a grasshopper coming out. 
and then another ladybug and lots of beautiful flowers. Butterflies that flutter in the sky. On this page we have butterflies and butterflies can be very colorful. There's a yellow butterfly and a purple butterfly and an orange butterfly and a red butterfly. And the butterflies have four wings, six legs, two eyes, and two antennas sticking up from their heads. Spotted ladybugs that go creeping by. So on this page, there are three ladybugs and they're, they look large, but ladybugs are really small. They have six legs. They're usually red or orange and they have black spots and they tickle when they walk up your arm. Friendly daddy long legs that never bite. So a daddy long leg is a spider and his body, the spider body is very small, but he has very, very long legs and they like to be out in the woods. But in this picture, they're on a flower. Grasshoppers, hop, hop, hopping, out of sight. So in this picture, we see flowers and we see a leaf and there's some lines drawn to let us know that the grasshopper is jumping right off of the leaf. A fuzzy caterpillar with tiny feet. So on this page, we see a caterpillar and he is very long and he has lots of legs. So many, I don't think I can count them. Buzz, bees buzzing by flowers that smell so sweet. So in this picture, we see flowers and then we see a bee flying above him. And bees usually have yellow and black stripes, six legs, and they have a stinger on their backs. A long line of ants that work, that work so much. On this page, we see ants and they're climbing across a, a stems and leaves and a flower and they're all in a straight line. And these ants are black and they have six legs and they have two very long antenna. Roly poly bugs that curl up when I touch. So these are Miss Leslie's favorite. And on this page, it shows two roly poly bugs. One roly poly bug is long and it shows all its legs and you can see its head and its eyes and its antenna. And then the other one is rolled up into a small ball. Bugs, bugs, bugs. I can see buggy bugs all around me. So in this page, it looks like there's a person, well, we see the toes, the feet and the toes of a person standing on the ground and there are bugs all around them. There's a butterfly, a bee, three ants, a caterpillar, a daddy long legs, a grasshopper, a roly poly bug, and the ladybug is crawling across his toes. Actual size bugs. Bee, so on grasshopper, ladybug, ant, caterpillar, roly-poly, butterfly, and daddy long legs. So I'm going to describe for you what the sizes are of the bugs. And so we're going to start with the biggest bug, and that would be the butterfly. And next, we have the grasshopper. And just a tad smaller than the grasshopper is a caterpillar. And then we have a daddy long legs, a bee, the ladybug, the roly-poly, and the smallest bug on the page is the ant.
bug meter So we have a bug meter and it lists our, our uh, insects that we've been talking about. Butterfly, ladybug, daddy long legs, grasshopper, caterpillar, bee, ant, and roly-poly. And on the left side of our bug meter we have can it fly, where does it live, and how many legs does it have? And then lastly, does it sting? So we know that a butterfly has wings, so it can fly. It likes to live near flowers. It has six legs and it does not sting. So if a butterfly lands on you, you don't have to worry. The ladybug also has wings, although you can't see them until they are about to fly. They live on plants. They also have six legs and they do not sting but I will tell you, they tickle a whole lot. A daddy long legs has no wings, so it can't fly, and it likes to live in shady spots. It has eight legs, and it does not sting or bite. And then we have a grasshopper. A grasshopper does not have wings, so it can't fly, but it can jump really high. It likes to live in tall grass. It has six legs, and it does not sting. Then we have a caterpillar. It cannot fly. It lives on twigs and leaves. It can have six to 16 legs, and it does not sting, but it also tickles when, you crawl on, when it crawls up your arm. A bee can fly because it has wings, lives near flowers, has six legs, and it stings, and when it stings, it hurts. An ant does not have wings, it cannot fly. They live in mounds of dirt called an ant hill. They have six legs, and they can sting when they bite. A roly poly does not have wings, so it can't fly. It likes to live under rocks. They can have more than 14 legs and it does not sting, but they roll into cute little balls when they get scared. The end. On the last page, it just shows a bunch of the bugs that we talked about, like the ladybug, the butterfly, the bee, the grasshopper, the roly-poly. And now we'll talk about our extension activity of ants on a log, Anna Heap. Okay, so um, I wanted to see, um, what we're gonna do is ants on a log is a yummy, yummy snack. And I know you guys had um, the description of it and maybe some of you already made it. And it was great for me to read because I am so excited to go and try all kinds of new versions of it. The one I always made with my kids and they absolutely loved it. And it looked like tiny little ants crawling on a big log. It was so much fun to make and eat them too. And it was celery and we put peanut butter in it with a spreader. And then we put just tiny little raisins all over the peanut butter. And because it's peanut butter, it's a little sticky, so the raisins just stayed on it. And it looked like little raisins crawling all over, little ants crawling all over um, the log. And it was very, very yummy. But did you know that you could make it with carrots and bananas and even pretzels? And not just peanut butter, you can put some cream cheese and you can put some hummus and that would be so delicious. And for the topping, you can even put, with the hummus, you can put some olives. And that would be so good. I really want to try that. And um, you could also put some chocolate chips or yogurt covered chocolate chips. Those would be, or raisins. Or there are even those craisins that are cranberries. There are so many things you can use. I would say 
let your imagination pick what you like and just so it looks kind of like ants crawling on the log. So I would, we would love to hear what you guys do and what your favorite version of ants on the log is. So if you don't mind typing it in the chat box or just raise your hand and um, Miss Leanne will call on you and we can hear it. So, let's so Isaac had never yet made ants on the log, but I wonder which one he might try. Cynthia mm -hmm. said, great idea, hummus and olives, yum. Isaac says, it's a great snack. Cynthia, have you ever made ants on a log? Me, Julia. Ah, Julia. Okay, Julia, did you make ants on a log? Um, yeah. But, we can make, we can make five babies because we're, because I think we can make it for the whole family. Oh, oh nice. What are you going to use, Julia? Cream cheese. I'm going to, I'm going to, for me. And bacon. For me, I'm going to add cream cheese and bacon. For, Did for, you say bacon? I'm add one piece yes, of bacon. And cream I'm cheese. I'm going to add for mine. Oh. bacon on the it's me. Okay, say it's me, Cynthia, no? It's me, Cynthia. I would um. like. Okay. It's me, Cynthia. Hi, Cynthia. I, 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 I would like to make a, 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 um, I will add one piece of bacon and stick it on peanut butter cool. on my, on my log and then put, and then I'll roll no. my, 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 my. My, is it my, celery? My 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 little gar my my garlic into little balls. Okay. And then I'll add little um 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 stingers on the backs. Stingers on the back. Okay. Then add, oh. Then I'll add. Then I'll add stripes. Are you making bees on a log? <laughs> yeah, I do make bees on logs. I'm very That's, creative. That, that is very creative. Like a great idea. I'm excited a lot. Very cool. Thank you. Layla, are you making some? Layla, the only way I can give you a mic is to promote you to panelist for a moment. You do not have to put your camera on. I like the use of bacon. I bacon know. Is always good with snacks. Come on. Oh, Ranger boy. doesn't like raisins. There's lots of other opportunities other than raisins. Mm -hmm. Bacon and peanut butter. That just sounds very interesting. Maybe I will try that. I think I'm going to try bacon and cream cheese. Bacon and cream cheese sounds good on a pretzel. <laughs> oh, that would be delicious. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Addison, what are you using to make your ants on a log? I am going to make, I am going to use banana and vanilla icing and chocolate covered raisins. Oh, yum. <laughs> Way to go. Oh, I'm liking God. that, Addison. That's quite the dessert. Yeah. Layla? Very, very oh, wait, is it there? Uh, Layla? Um, I tried. You want to try one more time, Layla? Give it a try. Okay, try holding down your space bar. Try holding down your space bar, Layla. There you go. Speak. There. Okay, now. I can't have any peanut butter. We don't have peanut butter in my house either. We have you, cream you, cheese. That's what we use. You can do that. You can use almond butter. You can use hummus. All kinds of different options. Or I like the idea of using icing. <laughs> I'm going to try that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'd be a good one. Yeah. 
Okay, thank you, Layla. You guys are so creative. This is amazing. Ooh, Natalie, what are you going to use? Um, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna use a carrot. Put put yogurt on a carrot and stick raisins on. That sounds good. Sounds that very sounds good. We should we should write a recipe book. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good recipe book. 50 Draven ways to using, do. Yeah, I know. Draven is using yeah. trees, uh, using cheese, string cheese. Ooh. That is a great idea for the log. I, I really think we, we need to, you know what? I think we will add these to our recipe <laughs> and maybe send them out later for y'all some more variations because these are great ideas. Very good. Seriously. Mm -hmm. What would you do? What, what would you put on a string cheese? Oh, Cynthia said add tomato paste and shredded cheese on top of something. Oh. Jade, what are you going to do? Try holding down the space bar, Jade. There you go. And, um, and, um, I'm going to do... Peanut butter, peanut butter, raisins on a banana. Raisins on a banana. That sounds delicious, Jade. Very good. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, Ingrid? Oh, you'll go ahead. Say it. Oh, no. Let's let Ingrid talk, and then we'll okay. go to our next activity. Okay. Ingrid, what are you going to do? I would use celery, peanut butter, and raisins. Mm -hmm. That is a classic. It really is. And delicious, too. Oh, you have one more person. Layla? Layla, did you have something else to add? Draven said string cheese, <laughs> apple slices, and crackers. Okay, Layla, go for it. Do you remember, Layla? Well, I think we'll wait for now, Layla, and let's move on. Thank you guys for all the ideas. I think it will be great to put it all together and add it to our activity. So now we're going to have Miss Leslie talk about another fun activity that we have planned for y'all on Friday. And maybe y'all have some good ideas about this one. <laughs> so tomorrow, you guys are going fishing. And you get to go fishing two different ways. So in our picture that's on the screen on the left hand side, you see a green turtle, which is a kiddie pool or a sandbox. I'm using it as a kiddie pool in this situation. And I've put marbles and water in the, in the kiddie pool. And I set a chair right beside it, a little kiddie chair, so that you can sit it down. You're going to sit down beside the pool, put your feet in the pool, and using only your toes and your feet, see how many marbles you can fish up out of that pool. So if you don't want to sit and use your feet, you can actually sit in there and see how many you can catch with your hands if you would prefer. So remember I said we were fishing two ways. I got another way for you guys to go fishing. In the picture that's on the right hand side, we have a table set up. It has some gummy worms, has Cool Whip with a spoon in it and a plate. And on that plate, we put gummy worms down first and then we covered our gummy worms with Cool Whip. And this time you guys are supposed to go fishing with your mouths. <sighs> Put your mouth or put your face down on that plate and you're going to see how many worms you can catch off that plate. You can have a parent time you or you can just do it for fun to see how many you can get. It's a cool way to play with some uh, Cool Whip and gummy worms if you like those things. And you don't have to use Cool Whip, you can use whipped cream. You don't have to use whipped cream or Cool Whip at all. You can just throw some gummy worms on a plate. Put your hands behind your back and see how many worms you can catch with your mouth. What do you guys think? You think that's a fun activity? Two fun activities? You can put a yes or a Y in the chat box or an N in the chat box. Go ahead, Miss Jessica. 
you know, I really don't like gummy worms. I think I'm going to actually use some Twizzlers. Ooh, that would be good. Mm -hmm. Gummy bears have been good too. I'm thinking I would use Swedish fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you okay. could use Swedish fish or even goldfish. Ooh. Goldfish crackers, yeah. That's Maddox says idea. it's fun. Ingrid said yes, and Jade said yes in big letters. You know, I don't know about the weather tomorrow, so I think I'm going to try it sitting on the side of my bathtub and putting my toes in. That might be also another way I could do it if I can't go outside. Great idea, Miss Jessica. All right, guys. Well, that's your extension activity for tomorrow. And unfortunately, we won't get to talk to you tomorrow to see how you liked it or enjoyed it. We won't see you again after today until July. So just in case we forget to ask, you make sure that you keep up with, hey, did you like that activity or not? And we'll talk about it when we see you again in July. But don't go away. We're still during camp. What do we have next, Miss Jessica? So next we have our campfire sing-along. And this time we would like everybody to join us. I'm going to have to stop sharing my screen for a minute so I can set up for our song. So just give me one second. Cynthia wants to know July question mark. I'm going to put the information in the chat. All right. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and you don't have to use marbles in the tub. You could even use small toys or anything you might be able to pick up with your feet or your toes. Or with your hands. Miss Anna Heat, do you like to go fishing? I do like to go fishing. When um, my favorite experience of fishing was we were visiting in Minnesota and we were on a boat and we combined two fun activities. First, we went really, really fast on the boat. As fast as, as fast we were allowed to, <laughs> as, as fast as it was allowed. And then after that, we went to a quiet little place and all of us, our whole family did some fishing and we caught a lot of fish. And you guys, the best thing to do after you catch fish when it's fresh is when you've had a long day and you're tired and you grill that fish, you make it on a little uh, bonfire it is so good it tastes so delicious when we were little we used to get tiny little fish I don't know what they were called like I think sunnies or something like that um super small and they're just so delicious I I like fish and I like fishing I don't do it too often but I enjoy it when I do Alicia do you want us to tell us about fishing Mute. There you there go. You. Oh, there she is. Hold the speaker. I think you can talk. We can't hear you. I can hear you. Oh, we can hear you. I don't know what. Did you want to tell us about talking. fishing, Alicia? Hold on here. Sure. We can see you, but we can't hear you. Ah. Uh, <laughs> now we can't hear you. And those are the technical challenges we have as we learn how to do this stuff. Isaac said he's never been fishing before. Sometimes you don't have a place to go fishing and sometimes you don't have fishing rods. Sometimes you're like me and just don't like to go fishing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are in Colorado and we do not have too many opportunities to fish, okay. I will tell you. Can that. you hear us? I can hear you. There you go. We can't hear you. We oh, can't hear you at all. Sorry. Um, chat. Jessica, you're muted in case you didn't know. Oh, I knew. I'm ready when y'all are, though, for the song. Okay. See what it says there. Are you going to type your question? You, you want to just put there? Um, put there, we cannot put, cannot hear you. Can you see it? To do the dance for me. 
Which way did I go? Behind you. A A R E A R. I think you could probably just say the question, right? I tried. I will. I will. I will. I'll mute you. Let's see if they can hear now. I muted Alicia and hopefully she'll be able to share information with us again. Are y'all ready to sing a campfire song? I think so. I kind of have a friend with me. If you see in the background, can you wave Chloe? Chloe Hi. wants to dance along with us. She's my daughter. Do you want mm -hmm. me to see if anyone wants to join with us and we can have them raise their hands? Yes, I would love for us to have some more people. Okay, if you guys want to try to sing along with us, I'll turn anyone's mic on that wants to sing along with us. You do not have to, and that's okay. But if you want to sing with us, and you want us to hear you, raise your hand, and then you can sing with us. I'll give a minute to let those hands come up, and I will turn on your mic. And you've got Cynthia who's going to sing along with us. And Layla is going to sing along with us. You guys do not have to put your camera on. That is fine. And, and Nathaniel is going to sing along with us. Anyone else hey, want to sing along with us? Me, me, me. You, you. Okay. <laughs> Natalie wants to sing along with us. <laughs> Alicia, I'll turn your mic on. We can hear you. Okay. Anyone else? Me. Okay, Alicia, your mic is available. Um, Isaac's going to join us. Addison wants to join us. Okay, make sure. Oh, Risa. Okay. Anyone else? Me. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm glad I hear you. Me. <laughs> okay, Jessica, you're ready to go. Yeah, I wanna, and I want to sing along too. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Stop, you guys can sing. Grandpa, do I ha Grandpa, do I have to keep holding down this this bar? This I don't bar? Know. Yes, you probably do. Okay. Since the volume on this is really low, I am just gonna have us sing it with no music. Oh. Are y'all ready for this? No. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> no. Go ahead. <laughs> Leslie, you all right with that? Sure. Let let's me pull it. up. All right. Want to see yourself on the video? Correctly? But I can't stand up as I'm holding down the space bar. I'm just going to have to hold it down. All right, guys. Here we go. Go ahead. We're going on a bear hunt. What do we see? But a great big oak tree right in front of me. It's so wide we can't go around it. But then... Can we go over it? <laughs> uh -huh. oh. Can we go under it? Uh -huh. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have <laughs> to climb. Hand <laughs> over hand, and up, up, up. up. Higher uh -huh. and higher, right, right to, the, to top. the top. Look around, do you see any bears? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> then hand under hand, hand. down, down, down. Lower and lower, lower, right to right the ground. ground. Look around. around. Do you see any bears? No. no. We're going on a bear hunt. hunt. What, what do we see? see? Hey, a great big swamp big swap right, in, right front in front of me. Of me. Mm. It's so wide oh, we can't, can't go, go around it. it. Less than. Can we, can we go, go over, over it? it? No. no. Can we go under, under it? it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Step by step, trudge, trudge, uh, trudge, trudge. In between my toes, uh, I feel the mud. I can feel the mud. 
Look around. Do you see any bears? No. 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 We're going on a bear hunt. What do we see? But a great big lake right in front of me. I think we're going to have to swim. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, swim, 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 splash, 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 stroke, 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 while we're swimming really fast. Look around, do you see any bears? No. no. Swim, 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 splash, splash, splash. We made it through the lake, now dry off really fast. Look around, do you see any bears? No. We're going on a bear, bear hunt. hunt. What do we see? But a great big oh, cave okay. right in front of me. I heard that bears asleep this time of day. If you want to go, we'll have to be really quiet, okay? Shh. Wait a minute. Crawling in the crave. Creep, creep, creep. Crawling in the crave. I hope the bear's asleep. Look around. Do you see any bears? Oh no. no! Wait a minute! I see eyes! Big yellow eyes! They're not yours and they're not mine! They must belong to the bear! <laughs> Running from the bear cave, what do we see? But a great big lake right in front of me. Looks like we're gonna have to swim. Swim, swim, swim. Splash, splash, splash. We made it through the lake now. Dry off really fast. Look around, do you see any bears? No. No. Still running from the bear, and what do we see? But a great big swamp right in front of me. Looks like we're going to have to trudge. Step, step, step. Trudge, trudge, trudge. We made it through the swamp. Now shake off all the mud. Look around, do you see any bears? No. No. Still running from the bear cave, and what do we see? But a great big oak tree right in front of me. Looks like we're gonna have to climb. Hand over hand, up, up, up. Down, 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 right to the ground. Look around, do you see me, bears? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Finally made it back, but I'm feeling kind of funny. We were being chased by itty bitty bunny. Fun. Looks like we went to the wrong cave. We're going on a bear hunt again, and we'll save going on a bear hunt again for another day. Okay. Yay! Yay. 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 Great. I, I think we got that part down where everybody says, no! <laughs> <laughs> you guys did oh. a great job, and we had some great hand movements and saw people moving around in body movements. I'm sure some of you at home were doing it too, even if you didn't show us, and that is okay. But we did have some of our friends showing us they could do the moves. <coughs> okay, Jessica and Leslie, what's next? So at this time, we were going to open up for some questions. So if any of y'all have any questions about any of the activities we have done this week or that y'all are going to do tomorrow, or if even if parents have any questions, you can either chat or raise your hand and we will answer anything you would like us to. And I uh, also forgot mm, that grandpa. I had a bug catching kit to, that I was supposed to show you. It has just a little net. It has a little top on it that has a magnifying glass built in, a spot to open so that you can put the bugs in. And also inside, it has some tweezers. Anybody else own a bug catching kit? My head's right here. Yes. So don't sit. So we have some people that say they've had, and I think what's going to be easiest is I, I what you can do is you can, you can mute yourself, usually by putting A, and that would help. And until you're ready to talk, Giselle, what would you like to tell us? Do you want to tell us something, Giselle? I would like to ask a question. Go ahead, ask your question, Giselle. What will we do tomorrow? 
Tomorrow, we will send you an email with an extension activity. Camp is three days of us meeting like this. It's on a Tuesday and a Wednesday and a Thursday. Now, we won't meet again until July. We have older students meeting in different weeks. This was our youngest group. But we will see you again July 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. Or I sure hope we do. Say something. Yes. Um, is it Cynthia? Julia? No, I'm Christina. Christina. Gotcha. <laughs> Go for it, Christina. Um, Did you have a question? Is yeah. this our young class? Why is this my young class? Yeah. Because I thought you would like things that were meant for your age. I didn't think you wanted to study chemistry and stuff that might not be interesting to you. Hopefully this was interesting for you. Did you like singing and stories and ants on a log? Was that fun? Yes. Good. Then we built it just for you the right way. Any other questions? How many of you are going to come join us in July for another camp week? You come join us another July? I hope so. We would really, really like to see you. I will. Great. We would love to have you. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of fun, but well. Yeah, I They're having a they're there having you know. a different group that's there is like the in a different week and different weeks in like younger like bigger younger bigger kids like from for, you are right. You um, are very right. right. That's what we're fifth doing. Fifth grade. They're gonna be like um Okay. <laughs> are you I don't see any more questions. I am so glad I saw lots of yeses of people who are going to join us. I am so glad. Uh Cynthia, you have one person and I don't remember the name. It's Julia. It's Julia. Julia, what was your question? Um, I like I liked the when 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 the girls were ghosts and when scared the the, the boys away because girls can go camping, right? Girls yes, can they go can. camping. That's what well, we learned like from PJ school. Funny Bunny. Was that your favorite story this uh -huh. week? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Natalie says they had lots of fun and her sister and she are going to sleep in their sleeping bags. Oh, that's fun. Would anybody like to know a hint of where we might be going in July on our adventure? Do you want to know where we're going I'm in July? <gasps> where are we going? The camping. The sea. The sea? I think somebody already knows. We'll be going to the ocean. Who likes going to the ocean? Ooh, I do. <laughs> Alicia said yes, and Natalie said yes, Cynthia said yes. You got lots of yeses in there. Lots of people who like the sea. My favorite thing to do in the ocean is put my toes in the sand. What about you guys? Isaac likes the ocean. I do like to do that. You do like to do that? Yeah. Draven yeah. has never been, but he has heard of it. Oh, Draven. It's very nice. It's, uh, it's a lot of sand, and there's a lot of waves in the ocean, so the, the water moves constantly. Oh, he says yucky. To no. <laughs> well, the beach may not be for you if you don't like sand. <laughs> You might want to go to a pool. <laughs> well, Very cool. Or the smell, it's so good. The smell of water is so good. Cynthia and it sounds, likes... When oh, the waves yeah, hit like the, the shore, it sounds really good. It does. It makes neat sounds. Oh, so someone that... likes to collect seashells. Mm -hmm. 
I do. Oh, you do? Yeah. Awesome. Do you like to yes. find the really big ones or the me really too. little ones? Me too. Me too. Oh, cool. Me you. too. Oh, Draven likes moon sand. Oh, I like moon sand too. I do. That's the best. Oh, no, he says he doesn't like it. Oh, oh, no. he oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did I not read that right? Oh, he says he does. You're right. I misread. That's what happens okay. when we read too fast. Well, then you might be in luck, Draven. I think we might uh, know a little thing or two about moon sand during our ocean adventure. And see, Christina doesn't like the water, but she likes the sand. Oh, you like the water and the sand. Oh, you like the water and the sand. Okay. Addison doesn't like seaweed. I do not like the seaweed either. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> And I don't like the jellyfish. Oh. They're mean. <laughs> they I are. <laughs> I, like, I like jellyfish. You like jellyfish? Well, they are squishy, as Addison said, but they are also things that sting, kind of like some of the bugs we talked about today. It can be yeah. very stingy. Well... I want to meet. Maybe you can. What I'm going to do. I am going to turn off the mics for right now. And I am going to say thank you so much to Jessica and Leslie and Anna Heat for a wonderful camp this week. I'll send you the recording and we will definitely make time for another camp in July. We hope to see you then. You are welcome to send photos if you want to share and I can share them with the camp counselors so that you can show all of the tents and the backpack adventures and your hikes and your ants on a log. So thank you so much and we hope to see you again soon. Bye, Bye. everyone. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Enjoy Bye.